Are you ready? And turn around. I do it. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you, I know you, right? You don't know me, yeah, no. Okay, but we've seen each other. I don't yeah. know you at all. Hey, sorry. Hey, what's up? I did not know that was you. That's crazy. Wow. He, he told me, but I was like, no, no. Wow. Oh, attention. Oh. Want to get out? Get yes. out. We got like two, two minutes. Yes. Number two. You did not understand anything that that girl said. <laughs> you just like. She said, I oh, like girl. oranges. Number one. She said, I like your oranges, and you were like, she said that she likes blueberries in the summertime on Wednesdays. And I was like, wow. So I think definitely, and then even what Ezekiel was saying, like, when you're like, accountability is really big to me. I'm like, you, I don't know about any of y'all, but you, just like what he said, how can you say that none of us are accountable to anything? I know I'm personally accountable. Not that, you know, I'm trying to get you to, uh, you know, but what I'm saying is like, <laughs> I, I'm just like, saying, not that I want you. No, no, no. I'm not, just saying. Not just saying, no. <laughs> not just saying, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that, I get that, but it's like, when you're like, no, you, you don't talk to girls or you're still single because girls aren't accountable, I'm like, mm. That's a huge assumption to make when you didn't ask. So, like, there was no way for us to, like, share anything that we're accountable for. Like, how are you toxic? That's not me saying, like, I'm accountable for blah, blah, blah. You have like, really like, great Colgate white honest. teeth, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Like, Goodness gracious. I find myself to be someone who wants to be very honest about yeah. different parts of my life, even if they don't sound pretty for yeah. the camera. And I feel like y'all kind of judge me for that. Yeah, yeah. You guys are like, she wasn't ready. Right. Yeah, you said. No, or UPR, they answer them. No. Like, I just told you. <laughs> or you're like, we're so toxic. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I didn't say that. I, I said toxic. number two, it sounds the least, least toxic. But, but I even when I asked the question, y'all were like, well, that don't sound toxic. You trying to big yourself up. And I'm like, I just, that's not, how did you get that? Well, it wasn't that. It just sounded like, uh, what, what is that quote where it's like you, you, you wrap something in like roses? they like, <laughs> Gotcha. So you, you kind of make something smell like a little bit better than what it is. So like just the way you addressed it. It's like you said a whole bunch of like positive reasons that leads to this this negative. Right. It's like okay, it was a whole bunch of like it was front loaded with a lot of. Because I mean it's positive for somebody, but not the person I'm with. So so for, from that from that I could get what he was saying. But I but I but will, I, but I will say though what I, meant. I will say though that. Uh, so what I didn't hear is you saying like, you know, you just got like options on options on options. I just heard it as like, yeah, there, there are some guys that are like in, in the space. They're kind of choosing oh, and it's just like, yeah, they're just kind of like around and it's like, I yeah, I'm just, me, bro. So I, I didn't hear like you just saying like, you're just like, you know, any, any, mighty mo, like you just kind of like chilling. I just heard it like, yeah, there's some people that's around, but. And you know, and, and, what around yeah. meant. And, and to be honest, maybe there's a lack of sensitivity because I looked at it as playful banter. So yeah, I, I looked yeah, at yeah. some of the responses as kind of just being a jeering type of thing to kind of, to spawn yeah, like just, know. just, some, yeah. No, but no, but I still think I, I still think it should it should it should matter to to at least acknowledge some level of sensitivity as to how you took it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, being being where I truly truly do uh, admire and appreciate how real. <clears throat> I guess in, in my mind and maybe like the fellas might or might not feel the same way, but I know in my mind like it's like I'm used to people sharing like fifty percent. So it's one of those things where naturally when you hear someone say like. Oh, like I'm, I have these toxic traits. Like subconsciously, it's like okay, that plus like maybe a bunch of other stuff. I think because you were so transparent, I think maybe you shared eighty to ninety percent. You probably shared way more than what the average person will, which I think is so dope. I think like naturally, like at least for me, my mind kind of went like, oh, if I'm adding that other like other fifty percent, that sounds like a lot of stuff. But that alone, everything you shared alone, like it's, it's really not that bad. Yeah. I think we all were honest, but honesty was taken differently from each of us, so. I think, we, I, and like number two, I think you were saying it authentically. I think you, you meant what you said. I just, I think what we were looking at was just kind of like, again, the cultural narrative, not so much personal, yeah. even though you're like representing a, a, a bigger conversation. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and so when you were like, you know, I just, I give too much of myself, and it, these things are real, but on this end, with playful banter, it's like, oh, you're such wow, a great person. Yeah. yeah, so more, it was playful.
do I get to answer? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Answer, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Defend myself. Defend yourself, brother. I said, like, if I um, offended any one of y'all, I just want to say I'm sorry. So, like, you know, saying that part, but, um, you know, maybe I'm Jay. You know, maybe I need to point the mirror. You know, so I just want to follow you. It would help. I, I know, like, we, we probably were, like, maybe it felt like a lot of heat from us, but I definitely will say that, like, y'all definitely are, like, top shelf. Like, you're... Your answers, your hearts, like things you are saying. So understand that it might have came off like maybe some of the things we were saying was like, oh man, y'all just are like, no way. But it's like, no, like y'all are actually like way, way, way above like many others. Well, I just want to um, pinpoint that. <laughs> I, I, I hear what you're saying and we appreciate the compliment, but I think one thing that you guys will realize when you have these conversations with other women are a lot of women have these same sentiments and a lot of women you would say are top shelf. The same women who you're saying aren't accountable. I'm just saying all those things mm -hmm. that don't, aren't expressive, um, whatever you said. I'm oh, whatever. But women, <laughs> Christian women are accountable. We are top shelf. We are expressive. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, no. so you have to say many. Wait, 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 you have to generalize. You, you, you can't generalize. You got, you got, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we actually, Date y'all. Y'all yeah. know your homegirls from like how y'all y'all know them from your bedroom girlfriend. Who is date y'all? No, 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 no. Exactly. Well, yeah. no, no, no. We actually date like the Christian women. So we y'all haven't dated the Christian women. Y'all know them actually. But I don't girlfriend. know though, cause so they seem one way as your girlfriend. Nah, in I think I think it's all I girl. think it's all about who you choose. Remember, because yeah. at the beginning we said that a lot of men are choosing uh, girls who. Just like you said, have a big butt because you're from the south. Or somebody said, I think they said, said it. I said it. Yeah, said okay, it. you said. It. And then you're like, guys, <laughs> girls want a guy who's tall. It's like, yeah, you might be choosing the one who like. We're all randomly selected here, so we all have like randomly a answered your questions. If you're saying we're top notch, that means you can go pick three other random Christian girls and not the one that you would mentally select. Our first choice, and maybe it's the ones that you're selecting that aren't top notch, and you should nah. just go to. Whoa, 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 Let me let me jump in there. Just to just to give her some validation on that. That's the whole reason why we did this experiment the way we did it because we're always choosing based on what we see mm -hmm. and not based on what we hear and know. So the fact that it's called blind vibes for a reason. Like you're choosing these women who are looking a certain way, walking a certain way, talking a certain way, instead of saying like, let me really get to know her character. So who you dating? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So so let me let me throw something in there. I would say there's no woman I even consider approaching who's not like deeply involved in community, church, all of that stuff. So it's always women that literally on paper are like y'all. Like, just like y'all. It's like, oh, she's accountable. You know, she seems accountable. Oh, she's in church, she's in community. You know, she's doing all these things. What it is is that it's a lot of representatives. It's a lot of like people who they might be in good community, but it's like they haven't really dealt with like deeper roots. And it's the same on this side. And, we, and I believe that. I, I believe yeah. that. I honestly think there, there were a couple things we were saying about women that I was like, mm, I know a lot of women that can literally say those same things about like a lot of men. And so I think that's a very real thing. Like even the accountability portion, um, there were literally like a couple things that I was like, mm, y'all could probably flip that and be like, oh, we've done. Like even the, the joint about like, uh, you know, how we experience sometimes like women a couple months down the line being like, oh, well, the Lord hasn't really confirmed for me yet. Or the Lord is telling me. I've honestly heard a lot of women say a lot of things. I've said it a lot of times. Some of them just said like, hey, the reason why I'm not here like they oh, throw crazy. this crazy blanket. Oh, the Lord is doing this, but the Lord is also giving you the option. But let him yes, do what no. he's doing. But he is, but here's what I'm saying. We're not being realistic. And obviously I'm asking this question from a perspective that there are Christian men within the church that are facing this. So this is coming from real life. I know. Scenario. I've been in So this to area. say that it is very present in our Christian community. You know, so just to say, you know, like, hey, maybe Christian women do have, no, like, the fact is that a lot of Christian women don't have accountability. The fact is that a lot of Christian women don't have that sense of Timothy, of older, 
women discipling the younger women. But can we say that, in all fairness, maybe our generation doesn't have that in totality? Yeah, and yes, yeah. yes, I would agree with that, yes. I would say that. Because I have this conversation a lot with Christian women where it's like, we're groomed for marriage, y'all are groomed to do whatever you want until yeah. you're ready for that's marriage. Very no, that's and very it's, it's not fair. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It's like, not, not, I didn't even know shame, I actually wrote some, a poem about Yeah, that I recently. remember reading it, yeah. yeah so, yeah, that's, that's a very good I think I think the thing is, like you said, like for instance, if there's an employer in a certain area, they're going to pull from the general right. pool. So if this generation has certain social issues, we're going to be pulling from those social issues and they're populating the church and then building people up from that point. I get it. My issue is I think it's rare no matter what you're looking at. I think it's like, for instance, he said, you guys are top shelf. Great. And I think that there are other top shelf women out there as well. I don't think there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing that I disagree. I think it is very rare. I even if you, think there are more that are, I think y'all have a bunch of girlfriends, and I'm not, I'm not really, really saying y'all, but I think like there are a lot of good, good women who have girlfriends, and it's like as your girlfriend, they seem so good. But it's like, man, when they're dating a dude, it's a totally different. And, 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 totally and listen, different listen, we don't, we don't even have to go to dating. Like, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm. You know, listen, let's call it for what it listen, is, bro. Because I got, I have, I have a, I have a large healthy community, primarily women. I've had a lot of female friends, period, just in general. And so they're having their relationship woes. And then when we come and talk, it's like. What did you consider this? Or did you think about that? So I, because I'm a man and they don't necessarily get their answers from me and they talk to each other, then when, they, when I have those conversations, it's like, you missed this entire chapter. No fault. But it's almost like saying to one another, they're like, oh, she's great. Like when homegirls try to hook you up with their friend, they're like, oh, she's amazing. But then you get with her and find out she didn't even like have a strong, she doesn't even have a strong foundation in her faith. She doesn't even or, read. Or she, or, <laughs> <laughs> Or 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 she's or she's not great, or she's dealing with pride, right? There's a lot of different things, and that's why it, it comes in, it comes into play when you're talking about your community. Who you know? Who do you have in your ear? Who do you fellowship with most? You know, in majority wise. So I think that I just would say I agree. There's more, but I think it's small. I don't think it's a lot. Well, we can say that on both sides because there's definitely more women than there are men out there. So um, I, I don't disagree, and actually, technically, there are more men than women. But in the church, it's okay. We're talking about top it's okay. shelf, top okay. notch, not in general. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know, uh, how do you describe top notch? I don't know. Y'all don't know. Exactly. They're saved and single. We're men of faith, and, and we're single. But I, but it's not uncommon for rooms to be filled with an equivalent of both, mm -hmm. and both of them not want each other. 